you're watching Don Share Box of Nation. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? You know, usually for a story like this, I will start the video off saying bad news for boxing fans. But since you have some fans that really don't wanna see this fight and hoping that it doesn't come to fruition, now I have to say what I'm about to talk about is bad news for boxing fans, but good news for some boxing fans. I'm obviously talking about the Javante Tank Davis versus Devin Haney fight. So it was confirmed that Javante Tank Davis was offered more than $20 million up front to fight Devin Haney. Now, let me surmise this all just in case you guys don't know how these money guarantees work. Javante was guaranteed $5 million for the Ryan Garcia fight. He's being guaranteed more than $20 million to fight Devin Haney. Now, when Javante was guaranteed the $5 million for the Ryan Garcia fight, he made a lot more than $5 million because that didn't include the pay-per-view buys. So the same thing applies when it comes to the guarantee he's getting to fight Devin Haney. If he's guaranteed more than 20 million, which means the official guarantee could have been 25 to 30 million. Now the pay-per-view for Davis versus Haney would most likely be around $80. We know that Javante Davis versus Haney is top two, one of the biggest fights in the sport of boxing, if not number one. You also have Canelo versus David Benavidez that would be a big fight. But when it comes to Davis versus Haney, this fight is gonna most likely do somewhere between, I would say 700,000 to a million pay-per-view buys. Even if this fight did 500,000 pay-per-view buys, Javante would still make more money than he made in the Ryan Garcia fight. So now with all of that being said, let's get to the topic. So you guys might remember, Javante Tank Davis, he went live reacting to the offer that was made to him. Javante, he was saying that video, if you wanna make this fight happen, contact the right people. So right after Javante said that, Leonard Ellaby, he came out and he said that it's up to Javante Tank Davis. Javante is the one that makes the offers. He didn't say Al Heyman makes the offers, he said Javante makes the offers. Meaning, Leonard Ellaby is saying that Javante is the boss. So once again, Javante, he says, contact the right people. Bill Haney, he calls up Leonard Ellaby, and Ellaby, he won't answer the phone. He's not taking Haney's calls. So then Bill Haney, he calls up Louis DeCubis. Louis DeCubis, he works with PBC, and he's very close to Al Heyman. So Bill does get in contact with Louis DeCubis. He has DeCubis for Al Heyman's number. But then he says, when Javante Tank Davis is ready to fight Devin Haney, he will reach out to you guys and it will be on his own terms. So while Javante Tank Davis is saying you need to contact the right people, Leonard Ellaby and Louis DeCubis, they're telling Bill Haney it's all up to Javante and what he wants to do. So for the boxing fans that really wanna watch this fight, go on Twitter and reach out to Leonard Ellaby and let him know that Bill Haney is trying to contact him about making the fight. Let's see how Leonard Ellaby responds. And if any of you guys don't believe the conversation with Bill Haney and Louis DeCubis took place where he was asking him for Al Heyman's number, this is the beauty of the internet. You guys can ask Louis DeCubis on social media. It'll be really interesting to see how he responds. At the end of the day, we know this whole process of trying to contact uh, Al Heyman would be a lot faster if Javante himself just contacts Al Heyman to talk about a potential fight with Devin Haney. Guys, it is truly getting to the point to where fighters and their team, they are hoping that they don't get a call from the Haney's. When Regis Progray got the first phone call from Eddie Hearn telling him that they had the Devin Haney fight for him next, Regis, he originally turned down the fight. He said he wasn't interested in that fight. And Regis, by his own admission, he said in interviews that when Eddie Hearn and zone found out that he said no, they were upset. This is Regis saying this. They were upset about it. So after about two weeks, Regis, he finally came back and he said, OK, I'll take the fight. And then in the promo, the build up to the fight, when uh, Regis did his face off with Devin Haney and they were talking face to face, Regis would admit to Devin Haney that he did want a tune up before he fought Devin Haney. Then you have the quote unquote boogeyman at 140, Sabriel Matias. After Devin Haney beat Regis Progre, Bill Haney, he immediately calls Sabriel Matias' team to try to make a possible fight with them. As soon as Bill Haney called them saying that he wants to fight the boogeyman, they hung up on Bill Haney. Eventually after Bill Haney's persistence, he finally got in contact with Matias' promoter. But I put them together. Um, I was on the three-way line. Um, Bill was very respectful. You know, just as Juan, Juan is a, is, is a great man. Um, so I believe they got something going on. You know, I believe they got something going on. 
and Bill's a man of his word and he kept in and he kept saying, I want to fight the boogeyman. You know, I want to fight the boogeyman. How much is it to fight the boogeyman? You know, but uh, uh, so, I mean, nobody here is scared of nobody. I don't know who told him that we said that Devin was scared or, or, or who, you know, you know how media is and things like that, you know, but we've, I've always respected Devin and I'll, and I'll always respect him and I'll always respect Bill. So after Bill Haney asked Matias' promoter how much you guys want for this fight, Matias' promoter, he says, we'll get back to you in a week. It's been two weeks, guys, and they still haven't got back to Bill Haney. This is such an unprecedented situation because you seldomly see the A side calling a fighter that's the B side that hasn't even made too much money in his career and he's not showing too much interest in the fight. From Jojo Diaz to Regis Progray, every single fighter that Devin Haney has faced they made their biggest payday. I'm talking about by far. And all the fighters that turned down a fight with Devin Haney, they stood to make the biggest payday of their career. You know, even though Javante Davis's trainer, Calvin Ford, he came out and said that Davis' next fight will be a tune-up, that doesn't mean that they can't still negotiate a Devin Haney fight right now, just like they negotiated the Ryan Garcia fight before Javante fought Hector Garcia. Let's see what happens. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. An important message from Youth Fountain Laboratory, makers of Basil Flux and Basil Flux for Men. If you're over the age of 35 and over the years you've eaten pizza, dairy foods, deli meats, or meats with fat, you are likely to have some degree of plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. This increases your risk of suffering a stroke or heart attack exponentially, and no one wants such a catastrophic event to occur. Introducing Plaque Out. Plaque Out is made of all natural ingredients proven to help. Dissolve clots in the blood. Remove calcium deposits and plaque from the walls of veins and arteries. Improve viscosity of the blood. Improve elasticity of the veins and arteries. Treat varicose veins. And prevent the reoccurrence of plaque buildup. For more information, visit Youth Fountain Laboratory at youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856. And remember, to help unclog veins and arteries, get the plaque out. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.